Can a Jenkins stage have multiple steps? Jenkins pipelines allow you to compose multiple steps to help you model any sort of automation process. Think of a step as a single command to perform any kind of action. When a step succeeds, it moves on to the next step. When a step fails, more than likely the pipeline is going to fail. But what do we do when it comes to either executing SH, BAT, or PowerShell steps? Well, that's what we're going to look at in this video. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.387.3. Also on this controller, I have a sample job. Let's go ahead and take a look at the definition of this job. Inside of multiple steps, what I have is a job that has two stages. I have a stage that has multiple steps calling SH. So I'm calling SH, SH, and then SH. Down in the second stage, what I have is a call to SH once, and then we call the separate steps within that SH. Now, the reason that I'm using SH is that the agent that I'm attached to is a Linux-based agent. If you're using a Windows-based agent, you're going to either use BAT or you're going to use PowerShell. And then the commands that you would call within these steps are going to be the ones native to whatever operating system that you're on, whether that's Linux-based or Windows-based. But let's take a look at what these steps do. Now, this is a very contrived example, but it will show us how this works. So in the first stage, the build stage, I have SH date, I have an SH sleep, and then an SH date again. Now, how does this differ from the second stage where I only have a single SH? What happens, whether you call SH bat or PowerShell, each time, that means that the controller is initiating a connection to that agent. So that may take a few milliseconds for that to occur. In the case of the first stage, I'm saying SH date, and then I return. And then I say SH sleep, and then return. And then finally, I say SH date, and return. Whereas for the second stage, I'm saying SH date sleep date, return. So in the first stage, using that pattern is really useful when you need to fail fast because I'm able to check the status code for each of those separate calls. In the second stage, what that means is I'm able to go ahead and make the connection. I don't care so much about the status codes except for the very final status code that happens. So let's run this and take a look at what the output is. So we'll click on multiple steps, click on build now. And if we take a look at the output, what we're going to see is we see our SH, we see date, we see the date in seconds, and we see that it took about two seconds, which makes sense because we slept for two seconds. But before we move on, notice that we have SH, SH, and SH. Now, since the controller and the agent are very near each other, I'm not going to see anything very different other than the two seconds because I don't have any granularity beyond the two seconds. But if we take a look at the output for the second stage, we can see the SH here. We see date, sleep, date, and then we close out the SH. So it's really up to you. You can choose to do it either way. If you need to be able to check status codes quickly based on running a single command, then the option of using multiple steps within a stage may be better for you. However, if you're just connecting up and running a bunch of commands and then just dis disconnecting, number one, you might want to turn all those commands into a shell script to call. But if you're not at that point yet of actually creating the shell script and you're just trying to work out exactly what the commands are you would need to run in a shell script, the second stage may be the better way to test that out. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.